Let's take up anomalous behavior of nitrogen. Why nitrogen differs from rest of the elements? The reason is it has smaller size, high electronegativity, high ionization enthalpy, and non-availability of d orbitals. Nitrogen has unique ability to form p pi p pi multiple bonds with itself, whereas other elements itself and with other elements having small size and high electronegativity like carbon and oxygen. How does it differ from rest of the elements? Nitrogen is a gas, other elements are solids. Nitrogen is diatomic, other elements are polyatomic. Nitrogen does not form pentahalides, whereas other elements form pentahalides. Nitrogen does not form pentahalides because it does not have d orbital. Other elements form because they have d orbital. Nitrogen shows maximum covalency equal to 4, whereas others shows higher covalency. Hydrides of nitrogen, that is ammonia, is liquid, whereas other hydrides are gases. Nitrogen can form p pi p pi bond, others do not. Phosphorus, arsenic, and antimony form single bonds as pp, arsenic, arsenic, antimony, antimony, while bismuth forms metallic bond in elemental state. It is element, it is a metal, therefore it forms metallic bonds. However, the single nitrogen nitrogen bond is weaker than single PP bonds because of smaller size of nitrogen and there is more repulsion between valence electrons. Therefore, this bond breaks easily. And that is the reason that phosphorus shows catenation to more extent than nitrogen. So, high interelectronic repulsion is between the lone pair of electrons, which is due to small bond length. NN bond is weaker than PP bond. Besides restricted a covalency to 4, nitrogen cannot form d pi p pi bond. Reason being nitrogen does not have d orbital. Phosphorus can form R3PO. Similar compound R3NO does not exist. Phosphorus can also form R3P double bond CH2 where R is alkyl group. Phosphorus and arsenic can form d pi d pi bonds also with the transition elements when the compounds like triethylphosphine or triphenyl arsine act as ligands. Next we are taking hydrides. All the elements of group 15 form volatile trihydrides of the formula MH3, whereas M is nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony, and bismuth. The lighter elements also form hydrides of the formula N2H4. For example, N2H4 is hydrazine, P2H4 and AS2H4 are also formed. Nitrogen also formed special hydride of the formula HN3. HN3 is the only hydride of nitrogen which is acidic in nature and it is called hydrazoic acid. The structure of hydrazoic acid is cyclic. There is double bond between nitrogen and nitrogen and single bond with two nitrogen atoms or with third nitrogen and this nitrogen is attached to hydrogen. So the bond breaks, H positive ion is formed and azide ion negative is formed. So HN3 will give azide ion and H positive ion and if we replace hydrogen by sodium, you will get so NaN3 will be sodium azide and barium N3 hold twice will be barium azide from which we prepare nitrogen. They are salts of hydrozoic acids. How to prepare hydrides? Magnesium nitride when reacts with water, it gives magnesium hydroxide plus ammonia. Calcium phosphide in reacts in the same manner. Calcium ion reacts with OH ion to form calcium hydroxide, whereas phosphide ion negatively charged react with H ion to form phosphine. Zinc arsenide reacts with 6 HCl or 6 water to form zinc chloride or zinc hydroxide and arsine. Arsine is the poisonous gas which is used in warfare. Magnesium antimonide reacts with HCl to form magnesium halide and stibine. Magnesium bismuthide reacts with HCl to form magnesium chloride and bismuthine. These days ammonia is called azine. Phosphine is called phosphine. Arsine is called arsane, stibine is called stibane, and bismuthine is called bismuthane, like methane, ethane, etc. By reduction of trichlorides, the trichlorides of these elements, except that of bismuth, upon reduction with zinc and HCl, or zinc and dilute acid, or lithium aluminium hydride, gives corresponding hydride. For example, this is the general reaction 
MCl3 will react with three moles of lithium aluminum hydride. We get MH3 lithium chloride plus three aluminum hydride. M can be nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, and antimony, but cannot be bismuth. Haber's process: nitrogen reacts with hydrogen to form ammonia. Reaction takes place from 650 to 800 Kelvin under 200 to 350 atmospheric pressure. Iron is acting as catalyst, and molybdenum is promoter. Reaction is exothermic. Phosphorus reacts with three moles of KOH and three water on heating gives phosphine plus potassium hydrogen phosphide. Structure of hydrides. This is the structure of hydride. They are pyramidal shape, undergo sp3 hybridization. Pyramidal due to presence of lone pair of electrons. Bond angle in ammonia is 107.8. In phosphine it is 93.6. Arsine 91.8. Stibine 91.3. Bismuth hydride does not undergo hybridization. The variation in boiling point can be explained on the basis of hydrogen bonding and Van der Waals force of attraction. Ammonia can form hydrogen bonds, that's why its boiling point is in the center. Phosphine is a gas and lowest surface area, lowest Van der Waals force of attraction has lowest boiling point, then arsine, then stibine, and then bismuthine. Ammonia is in between because of additional forces that is intermolecular. Hydrogen bonding. So this is the order of boiling point of group 15. Melting points. The plot of melting point of hydrides of group 15 versus their molecular weight is given. Ammonia has got highest melting point 195.2. It decreases to phosphine, and after that it goes on increasing uh, till antimony hydride that is 185 Kelvin. Phosphine has lower melting point than arsine, which is lower than stibine, and which is lower than ammonia. Boiling points: Ammonia is 238.5. Phosphine is lowest, then arsine, then comes ammonia, then stibine, and bismuthine. The boiling point increases regularly as we move from phosphine to bismuthine. However, the boiling point of ammonia is higher than those of phosphine and Are seen because of intermolecular hydrogen bonding. This is the plot of boiling point. Ammonia is 238.5. Then phosphine has lowest. Then arsine and stibine has higher 255.254.6. Solubility. Ammonia is extremely soluble in water because it can form hydrogen bonds with water, while PH3 and other hydrides do not. Ammonia dissolves in water, forming ammonium hydroxide. Phosphine and other hydrides are insoluble in water because they are not capable of forming hydrogen bonds with water. And even protonation of phosphine with water is difficult. Thermal stability of trihydrides of group 15 decreases down the curve from ammonia to bismuthine. The reason is that bond dissociation energy goes on decreasing. And why bond dissociation energy goes on decreasing due to increase in bond length? So ammonia is most thermally stable. Bismuthine is least thermally stable. Reducing character of hydrides of group 15 increases down the curve. Same reason due to decrease in bond dissociation energy. Ammonia is least basic and least reducing agent. Bismuthine is the strongest reducing agent because bond and dissociation energy of nh bond is highest and pih bond is lowest this is the order reduce the thermal stability decreases down the group reducing character increases down the group basic character decreases down the group why it decreases because lone pair of electrons is readily available on nitrogen which is smaller in size but least available on bismuth which is larger in size and electronegativity also goes on decreasing down the group that is why basic character decreases down the group ammonia is more basic than phosphine is more basic than arsine which is more basic than stibine and which is more basic than bismuthine properties of hydrides of group 15 melting points ammonia 195.2 phosphine is lowest then arsine is second lowest than stibine boiling point 238.5 phosphine is lowest And then is arsine. Then comes ammonia. Then we have stibine and bismuthine. Bond distance in ammonia is lowest, and then it goes on increasing. That is the reason that bond dissociation energy of 
NH bond in ammonia is highest and then it goes on decreasing. Bond angles 107.8, 93.6, 91.8 and 91.3 that it decreases because with the increase in atomic size of central atom. Bond energy of formation or enthalpy of formation, enthalpy of formation of ammonia is minus 46.1 that is exothermic process, it means ammonia is more stable. Phosphine is 13.4 and positive and uh, arsine is uh, higher, cestibine is even higher and bismuthine is highest. Most easily ammonia will be formed, others will be difficult to be formed. They are comparatively less stable, particularly phosphine is least stable.